they're becoming more common. In two separate incidents, hours apart, armed people enter banks demanding their own money. Lebanon is in crisis. For three years, people haven't been able to access their savings because of informal capital controls. Sally Hafiz is among them. Armed with a handgun, she was accompanied by activists who threatened bank employees before she was given $13,000 from her account. In this country, this is the only way to get our money back. We didn't steal this money. We worked hard to earn it. Sally says she needs the money to pay for her sister's cancer treatment. In a similar incident last month, an armed man named Bassam al-Sheikh Hassan held hostages at a bank for nearly 10 hours before receiving part of his trapped savings. He too said he needed money to pay for his father's hospital bill. Many others like Sally and Bassam, who are facing strict limits on withdrawals of foreign currency, gathered outside the bank after the incident. We are ruled by thieves who are forcing us to use violence, protesters chanted. People are losing patience. The economic collapse is in its third year. The currency has crashed, unemployment is high, and government services are nearly non-existent. People believe politicians and bankers are protecting themselves while they are suffering as a result of the financial crisis. Bank deposits were used to fund the state and cover deficits. Now, the state is nearly bankrupt. Total losses amount to more than $70 billion. There is a lack of political will to agree on an economic recovery plan that would distribute losses. And as the crisis worsens, depositors warn they will have no choice but to take their money by force. Zana Khudr Al Jazeera, Beirut.